Every day, machines roll off a hostage assembly lines found from machine shops all around the world. On each of these lines, engineers are working day in and day out to ensure that we continue to make the best possible products for our customers and shed some light on the innovative engineering that keeps these assembly lines going. Earlier, I had the privilege of meeting up with Gino Gasparro, a manufacturing engineer in Haas's productivity group, to talk about the Flowline project that he has been working on. So Gino, tell me what we're looking at here. It looks like we've got a giant racetrack just right over here in the middle of the assembly floor. Yeah, new production process that we're kind of testing out for our Henderson facility, shifting from building in place to single piece flow, um, which allows us to increase our productivity and efficiency. Uh, single piece flow is where you have a casting or you have a part and that part moves. So the, the part goes from station to station and certain operations are completed um, in order to have your final product produced. So tell me kind of how this project all came about. When it started it was, it was literally just myself and, and a manager and he said we want to take our factory and make it better so that we can become the, best, the number one machine tool manufacturer in the world. And one, a couple of things we want to do is we want to be able to double our production. We want to ensure that quality stays in the build process. Make sure from a, a square footage perspective, we use as minimal space as possible. Knowing that, just proving you know, build in place, single piece flow, which is better. So it was a lot of data, number crunching, showing that utilizing single piece flow meets all those demands that that kind of initial project goal uh, that was created, uh, it hits all those, those wants. So being a lot more efficient both in how you're building, but also in where you're building it Your and how much fire. room it's going to take up. And it's something that historically, you know, with my experience, Haas doesn't shy away from. We know that there's a way to increase our productivity. We're all for it. Explain to me a little bit about um, what's going on here. So it looks like you've got like a small VF column on the cart. Yeah, it's our small VMC Z-axis, or which is also referred to as our column. It houses the spindle head and the spindle. Um, so all of these components, you start off with your raw casting and then you build up. You have to put a ball screw on, you have to put linear guides on, spindle head casting, your spindle, and then various kind of miscellaneous components as well as your tool changer bracket for the tool changer later on in the process. It looks like you just kind of put all the parts that you need to put them on one cart. This is the fact that we saw assemblers having to walk all over the factory to get the parts they needed to build the machine. Uh, what we wanted to do was keep the assemblers at their workstation doing the work because we want to utilize their skill set. So one of the things that was proposed and is what we ended up doing is uh, building serialized kit carts. So as soon as a customer makes that order, that pretty much drives this creation. So if you are ordering a VF2 Super Speed, you're gonna have a, a VF2 Super Speed ball screw on there. Um, you're gonna have a Super Speed motor, and you're gonna have the various components that are specific to that machine. For the assemblers, they don't have to go anywhere. Everything is presented to them to build the column. Everything that's needed is, is right here. It gets loaded on over at the load station with the column and it travels with a column from start to finish. So at the end of the build, you have an empty uh, Rubbermaid cart. It looks like you also went ahead and organized a tool. Now that one singular worker isn't building a whole casting, you're only gonna need the tooling uh, specific to that workstation, and it's gonna be right there at their access to pull what they need to do the specific operations that they're doing at each workstation. Because we have a lot of processes that often change here at Haas given a uh, new implementation of a process or a product. At any given time, if the process changes, we actually have the capability to simply uh, change out tooling. It saves you time that the worker has to go for searching for tools and instead yeah. they know exactly where it's going to be. Every yeah. Time. So to go ahead and walk me through kind of a process, almost a, a day in the life of a casting as it gets loaded and going through this flow line. Yeah, it has to get on to the tow line. It's a revolving track, so um, from the unload station, you're going to get a, a new fixture cart. It's going to come here. We're right now at the load station. And then now, so it's going to get carried around. And so once it passes the buffer zone, uh, where does it go to then after that? Yeah, so workstation one, spec the casting for defects. Um, once he's done that, verified everything, he's going to clean the machine surfaces area, areas. 
um, and then he's ready to install the linear guides. All right, so after this, where does it go next? He's gonna advance it over to buffer cell two. Okay. What this buffer cell allows is say the guy at workstation two isn't totally done with his work. He has a little bit left to do. Guy at workstation one could advance his cart. That workstation can wait until the guy at workstation two is done, but it allows for the assembler at workstation one to continue on to that next part um, to make sure that we don't have any bo major bottlenecks in our process. So from uh, buffer cell two, it goes to workstation two. This is where the spindle head will actually come on. So we do have our casting stored right here uh, where we utilize the bridge crane. The spindle will go in, he'll torque all of those bolts, and then, they, and then the column's pretty much ready to go to the next process after that. We've got our final station right over here with station three. Right? Yep. Here at station three, some of the miscellaneous components uh, per se are installed. Right. So before this goes ahead and it goes on to the next, it's going to be actually built on the machine. This is kind of your final, you know, the, you know, the buck stop stops here yep. of doing our final quality check and making sure we've got all of our ducks in a row, we've got, yep. you know, crossing our T's, dotting our I's. Yeah, yeah, all your quality checks uh, in terms of your major components. So your ball screw, uh, all that's checked, your linear guides, um, your motor, your spindle head, all those bolts that have been torqued throughout the process. All right, so then after here, um, so it kind of it moves along to its last station. Yeah, it moves along uh, to our unload station. So pretty much the process will start over. So new production orders are coming through every day. Uh, the assemblers will, will load all the parts necessary for whatever the customer ordered, and it repeats the, the life cycle and repeats the process that it went through today. That's awesome. Yeah. Hey, well, thank yeah. you for your time. Yeah, I appreciate yeah it. no worries, Mr. I appreciate it.